Hello everyone. So welcome back to the series. We will be discussing today question 13 which came as a 4 marker. Interesting question. So far the questions have been really easy, right? The 3 markers as well as the 4 markers. This one might take a little bit of time because it will contain few steps to solve. So let's see how we can solve this question. And it's easy as well. It is not that difficult. So yeah. The question is Rosa draws several identical rectangles to make the following picture. You can see in the picture, all these rectangles are identical. Okay. All the rectangles are identical. Now, the width and the height of the picture are 45 centimeters and 30 centimeters respectively. Okay. That means the width is 45 centimeters and the height is 30 centimeters. Okay, the width, this one is 45 and the height of this picture is 30 centimeters. What is the area of one rectangle? Now to find out area of one rectangle, we should know what is going to be the length and width of this rectangle, correct? We need to find out that. Now, if you will see the width of this picture, it contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 lengths of the rectangles, right? So, 5 length of rectangles will combine together to make 45 centimeters. From here, we can find out that the length of one of the rectangle will be 45 divided by 5 that is 9 centimeters. That means each rectangle is having the length of 9 centimeters. Now we know the longer side is 9 centimeters, correct? So I can write it over here as well. This is 9 centimeter. This is also 9 centimeter, correct? Now I need to figure out what is going to be the width of this. That is the shorter side of this rectangle. So let that be x. So this is x, this is x, and this is x. From here, we can make the equation as well. 1, 2, 3, 3 shorter sides of the rectangles plus 9, the longer side, plus 9. That means 18 will make the total height of this picture that is 30 centimeters, correct? We added all the things which came in the way for the height of this picture. That is 3x, 3 shorter sides plus 18. That is 2 longer sides of the rectangle. Now to solve this, what we can do? We can shift this 18 to the other side, right? And whenever we are shifting one number from one side to another, remember one thing, we need to change the signs. So addition will become subtraction subtraction will become addition and same ways multiplication will become division and division will become multiplication so whenever we are shifting one thing from one side to another this will happen now 18 is in the left hand side of this equals to sign right if we are shifting it to the other side so what will happen we need to subtract 18 from 30 okay now if we will do that so what is uh, 30 minus 18 so it is going to be 12 right that means the size of three shorter sides of the rectangle equals 12 now from here we need to find out only the size of one shorter length so as we can see again three times what is 12 it will be four right 3 times 4 is 12 other way which i told you if we are shifting one number from one side to another the sign will change right so 3 is currently in multiplication with this x if we are going to shift it to the other side that means we need to divide by 3 reverse operation right that is again 4 so we got the width of this rectangle that will be 4 centimeters. 
Now you can simply find out the area of this rectangle. How to find out area of rectangle? Length times width, that is 9 cm times 4 cm, that is going to be 36 cm square. Done. So from here we got our correct answer, that is going to be 36. Done. That was a good question, right? You just need to figure out the lengths of the rectangle. And once you are able to figure out the longer side, you will be easily able to figure out the shorter side as well. Okay. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning and don't forget to hit the like button below. Bye-bye.